Well, Felix, on your way to your first working day as a field reaper, hmm? As any good instructor of the Ministry of Death, I'll be guiding you through these final steps into full field reaper territory. <clears throat> By the way, about your little quirk, as we've discussed, some of the other reapers find it somewhat, um, unnerving. So, while you're in the field, do try to keep the dancing to a minimum. Of course, there's your unusual motivation for becoming a field reaper. It's not exactly forbidden, but we have been through this, Felix. Being in love is not conducive to the kind of work we do at the Ministry of Death, especially since the object of your affection works for the Ministry of Life. I know you think your missions will provide a chance to run into her in the mortal realm. Where there's death, there must be life and all that. But you do know that you two are an impossible match. Right, Felix? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. All right, enough of all that. Your first mission awaits, Felix. Classic scenario, a hunting accident. Now... If only I could find the full briefing. Uh, hang on, Felix, sorry. Well, <laughs> I guess we don't need a formal briefing for a case as simple as this one. Stay tuned for more instructions once you've reached the mortal realm, Felix, and enjoy the passage. I have to improvise a bit without the briefing. I'll just try this, I suppose. Oh, remarkable. Oh, here comes the televator. Greetings, Felix. Are you ready? Ah, I guess that's what you call keeping it to a minimum, then. Just go here. Got moves, that's for sure. Try here then. That's right. You cannot move into the sun. You've been paying attention, Felix. Go here now. Wait just a moment, please. Well, would you look at that? Go here. Oh, we forgot about the sundial, of course. Just a moment. And pop. Stay where you are and press push on the sundial. Great, I'll just check if you've been paying attention. Now, can you get here? Well done. Let's get down to business, shall we? Wonderful. Now go to that skinny mortal and, uh, uh press A. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Pick him up. Great. And now, wait for it, wait for it. There you are. Now, <clears throat> hold down X. Or just do whatever you need to do to get that human into the lethal position right over there. Now let's see what happens when time unfreezes here. Very well done, I must admit. That dancing, cuddly Felix, and... Oh, what's this? Oh, 
Oh, oh, no, no, this is bad. Can you hear me from the televator, Felix? I guess you can. Get back to the office immediately and I'll have the right, um, let's say, uh, another briefing waiting for you. And you've received the proper paperwork and made your preparations most diligently, of course. Medieval Europe and the 1980s New York. Some mix they gave you, huh? Well, let's get on with it. Okay, we'll just move on from the previous little exercise. Let's forget about that. Now, on to your first real job. I'll talk to you in the mortal realm again. Elevator traffic is terrible. The Ministry of Life televisors are a nuisance, jamming up the space-time continuum. We have to... Oh! Here we are. Welcome, Felix. Now, let's do it properly this time. Always check out what happened when time froze. Great work, and everything went according to plans and regulations. Just lovely. This makes an instructor proud, it really does. I believe he'll be fine on his own now. I will only be checking in every so often.
Mm-hmm.